Here in Beverly, you know, I find that the communities are really tight-knit. This is where the U.S. Navy was born. That hits home a little bit, too, because my dad's uh, a former Navy man, served in two wars. It's a very um, family-oriented kind of town. The job of a transportation director ultimately is getting the kids to and from school and to and from their programs that they go to. That's a big responsibility. Currently, we have one electric bus in our fleet, and our goal is to eventually have the entire fleet be all electric. First thing that people notice when they look at the bus is the fact that there's, there's no tailpipe. So the kids aren't breathing those fumes. Our maintenance costs have dropped significantly. There's a lot less moving parts, so there's a lot less that can break down. It has a very smooth ride. Some of our elementary kids that ride it, they call it the magic bus. Working with Highland has been a very smooth transition. They coordinated everything, whether it was working with National Grid to put the transformers in, running the lines to put the charging systems in. They were our financier. They were the ones who were able to make it affordable compared to a diesel bus. Building the electric fleet has certainly changed some of the things that we do, but ultimately the job and the goal is still the same. It's to get the kids to school safely, get them home safely. For us, going electric just made sense. We're safer, we're cleaner, and we're running more cost-effective than we were before.